Yo, what's up guys? It's stinky, disgusting Devin, okay? That's how I feel right now. So it is Monday morning. My reveal's in like two hours right now, it's eight. My reveal's at 10.30. Um, managed to whip up some breakfast. These past couple of days has have essentially just been super fucking uncomfortable. Um, and if you plan on getting top surgery, I don't suggest doing it like without whoever you're living with knowing or like in secret or anything like that because you're just gonna feel so disgusting you're not gonna be able to do much of anything and it's gonna be mentally tough. Like it's very uncomfortable, not just a binder. Like maybe this is just myself. Maybe I have more sensation, I don't know. But I feel like the stitching, I guess, sorry if this is uncomfortable for anybody, but I feel like my chest is being pulled down and it's just mentally like a lot. I don't know, it's just very uncomfortable and I haven't seen the end result yet. So it doesn't feel like much of anything. It just feels like I'm suffering, but I haven't received the reward yet. So I'm not really nervous about the drains getting taken out. I'm gonna eat breakfast, get myself cleaned up, and uh, I'll see you guys at the doctor's office. How are you feeling? <laughs> oh, I'm alive, I guess. Thanks, I'm scared about like the nipple thingies. This far, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, there you go. Stuck there. Holy crap. Wow. 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 Whew. After you get in the shower, back goes to the shower, soap and water runs over the front, finish showering, you pat the nipples dry, don't rub them. After you pat them dry, you're gonna apply a thin film of antibiotic ointment with a Q-tip. You don't need to apply a lot, just a thin film on both sides. Yeah, this is what skin grafts look like. It's totally normal. The next thing that you're gonna apply after the antibiotic ointment is this yellow gauze called Xeroform. So I'm gonna um, demonstrate on the smaller sheet, but we're gonna give you a big sheet of it that should last you for about three weeks or so. When you open the packet, make sure you wear gloves mm -hmm. and clean your scissors with alcohol. The gauze itself is folded back and forth on itself, so you have to pull it open so that it's one thickness. It's a non-stick gauze and it has antibiotic ointment on it so it doesn't mm -hmm. stick to the bandage. You do the same thing on the other side and then fold the packet closed and keep everything inside as clean as possible to the next time. Fold it over twice to make a two by two and just stick that right over the top of the yellow gauze. Same on this side. Keep the bandage on. Okay. All right, and then finally you gotta rewrap your chest with the ace wrap. We're gonna give you a fresh one. After two weeks, uh, you, if they're still there, mm -hmm. gently peel them off and start using your scar treatment. Okay. Mm -hmm. This goes up to the armpit level. Okay. Apply it with just a little bit of stretch. Not too tight. Yo, what's up guys? So it's pretty much like four days after the reveal. Um, I didn't have, as you can tell, that super groundbreaking moment of, oh my God, this is my chest. And I think that's just because my standards as far as how I want my body to look is higher than like the average person. Not to be an asshole, but I think that's why I didn't have that crying aha moment at my reveal. Um, I think that moment will come for me more gradually over time as I'm able to live my regular life because right now, up until four weeks, so I have two more weeks left, um, two and a half more weeks left of living with the binder, not having my full range of motion, not being able to work out. I can't work out for like six more weeks, I think. That that euphoria will come at a later date for sure. But Dr. Sasani did do a great job. I'll do another video about 
the doctor and my experience and all of that. It's it's mixed. It's mixed, I'll be honest. But yeah, so this is where we're at right now. I've been living out of zip ups and flannels. So make sure you cop a lot of those before you get surgery. Uh, I've lost around 10 pounds since November 29th. It's like December 10th or 11th. So yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, uh, surgery's a lot, dude. So if you guys have any questions, obviously drop them below. I'll do my best to answer. Yeah, so if you're interested in coaching, I don't usually look like a skinny bitch. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Devin, uh, DVNSPRS. And for coaching, it's Devin, that's coaching at gmail.com. Have a great day. Like I always say, Devin loves you. Devin's a Don, and Devin is out of here, boy. Ah.